Hello, this is Kat Thomas from Switzerland. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do fast peyote on this little multi-point pod. That uh, This little pod is something taught by Kate McKinnon on her website for the Contemporary Geometric Beadwork Project. You can find um, explanations on how to make it there. It is a very clever little tool with 12 points, or six on each side. And the fact that you use two different colors helps a lot in the beginning when it goes into every direction. So I built a few rows and now I'm ready to start a new row and as you can see I have two threads coming out of the same bead here. What we're going to do is with the first thread we're going to pick up the beads that will be added to the row and then with the second thread we're going to to connect them to the beadwork. Let me show you. First you pick up two beads, two delicates for the step up. And then you need to pick up enough delicates for two rows here. From here to here. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven beads. So I have a funny little pile of mixed beads over here, but to show you the difference, I'm going to pick up the orange ones that are here. So that we can see the difference between the previous rows and the new row. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Right? So when you have your eleven beads on your thread, stitch through the point. on the opposite side and make an increase here like this and do the same for the next edge Eight, nine, seven, eight, 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 Voila. And continue adding rows like this until you have gone round the entire podcast. So here I'm back with the last set of 11 delicates to add to the 12th edge. I show this because you have to step up here by stitching through the two last ones on this side. Like this. And now instead of continuing with this thread, because the reason why I use two threads is that thread tension will become extremely taut when connecting these new beads to the rows below. And so this thread will remain here as a, as a free thread so that you can pull it 
little by little when you work on the beadwork. I'm going to string a stop bead. And thread the needle onto the other thread. Voila. So with the other thread, stitch through the Fidelica you added in the previous operation. Pick up two yellow beads, make an increase, and then you need to pick up one orange bead and stitch through the first of the 11 in the new row and then through the first dedica in the last row below and then you simply connect every other dedica to the gaps below like this This is a very practical system to add two rows at the same time. When you get proficient at it, you will find out how to also pick up the right beads for a pattern. And when you reach the end of the row, you also need to pick up a new orange bead before the increase. And you turn your shape and continue on the other side, make an increase. Pick up an orange bead, stitch through the first orange bead of the 11 and the first of the row below. And then connect every other delica to the row below and if you make a mistake in your when you pick up your 11 beads and for example there is a 12th bead in there you can use a little tool like this and explode the bead let's say i have one extra bead here and you can then you can break one it is not a good idea to break it by using a plier because it will it highly probably will cut your thread so use something to to break the bead from the inside to the outside and your thread will be safe and you can continue beading if however you have only 10 beads instead of 11 you will have to undo but it's it's really fast to undo and redo this little um, sequence of 11 beads and um, for the next rows there will be more beads of course for if you add 11 now you will add 15 I think in the next one does count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 15, yes, 15 beads will have to be added for the next double row. So this goes pretty fast, it saves your tendons. Um, often when we go around a shape like this with one bead at a time, 
and we notice a mistake, normally you have to undo the entire round and start it all over. With this system, you will notice your mistake and can correct it more easily. Voilà, that's it. Fast POD. Next will be on the rig rack. Promised. <laughs>